In this video, I'll show you how to withdraw funds from your Uphold wallet. So this is if you have an Uphold.com wallet. I'm going to show you how to withdraw Ethereum. So I have about $1,400 worth of Ether. To do this, we're going to go over to the left-hand side and click Transact. And it brings up this Anything to Anything window. So under Transact, we'll click From. And I'm going to select my ETH account. So this is Ethereum that I'm going to be withdrawing. And I want to withdraw all of it. So I'll click the max, and that inputs the full amount that I have. I'm not going to click US dollars. That's if I want to convert it for USD and turn it into US dollars and keep it in Uphold. Instead, I'm going to go on this two part, and I'm going to scroll down. I don't want to do my accounts, because that keeps it on Uphold.com. I don't want to do a bank. I don't want to do cryptocurrencies, because that'll also keep it on Uphold.com. This is exchanging it for Bitcoin, for example. Um, keep scrolling down. Uh, I, what I want to do is go all the way down here to Crypto Networks. So Crypto Networks, I want to click this Ether. When I select that, it notice it's not the exact same amount because it takes out a fee. So this is 0 0.58 versus 0 0.56. There's a $33 network fee. I think Uphold takes some of that as well. But also this pays the Ethereum network to actually do this transaction. I'll click Preview Transaction, and then it lets me enter an address to send it to. So I'm going to just, just select this address here. This is an address that I created in MetaMask. So I can copy this address and then paste it in here, right-click and paste. You can get this address from a Coinbase account, for example, or if you want to send it to a, a different exchange. Or in my case, like I said, this is just a completely uh, an address that I created and, and that I control only that I created in MetaMask. So when you have that uh, put in there, click Confirm. It'll show your transaction, show you the network fee, and then we'll need to enter in our two-step verification code. So this is a code on my Android phone that I'm using, um, or, or iPhone as well, but you'll just, this is two-step verification to prove that I am really the, the holder and the owner of this account so that other people can't hack in and, and withdraw my money without my permission. And then once that's done, your transaction is, well, it's actually pending, if we look over here on etherscan.io, we'll notice the transaction hasn't shown up yet, and that's because Uphold, even though they're they're still processing it, they haven't actually submitted this transaction to the network. It can take as much as as long as 24 hours, but usually it happens within an hour or so. And if we want to see the transaction pending here on Uphold, we can just go over here to Activity on the left hand side, and this will show us. Uh, we can click on our transaction and it shows us what we did uh, the address we withdrew to the fees and then it also says status processing so this isn't you know it says when it's happening and it's still processing uh, and then when it's finished it'll say complete and then that's when it will be um, reflected on etherscan or on you know blockchain.info if you're doing uh, you know bitcoin or whatever block explorer you're using uh, this just happens to be ethereum well, hopefully that's been informative, guys. Uh, leave your questions and comments below if you have any, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.